Chris, thank you. We have a story of politics this evening. He once ran in the most expensive congressional race in history in 2017. Now John Ossoff, who grew up in Decatur from Paideia, is throwing his name in the race for U.S. Senate in our state to take on the Republican David Perdue. But first, he's got to make it through the primary and the field of Democratic challengers. That won't be easy. 11 Alive's Doug Richard spoke with Mr. Ossoff earlier today. Doug? Well, Jeff, John Ossoff may be a household name around here, but he still has never held a public office. He says that won't matter when he tries to beat fellow Democrats for the privilege of facing Republican David Perdue in the fall. And for Georgia.com. Democrat Ted Terry, he's running for the U.S. Senate. Democrat Sarah Riggs Amico, she's running too. So is Democrat Teresa Tomlinson, and now so is this guy. Look, we have a crisis in this country of political corruption. John Ossoff became a household name in Metro Atlanta two and a half years ago. Seemingly endless TV advertising backed him and clobbered him. Though he lost the 6th Congressional District race, Ossoff's name recognition became national, and he announced his candidacy on MSNBC last night speaking in part to campaign donors across America. Do you believe it is reasonable? He spoke to us sense. today. And I'm going to build a grassroots army across this state, unlike anything this state has ever seen, to defeat David Perdue and to deliver representation the state can be proud of. It will be another expensive race. Tomlinson is also searching hard for campaign money. The former mayor of Columbus is raising money in California today. She says she raised money in Chicago, Miami, New York, and Friday will do it in Washington, D.C. She says Stacey Abrams' near win in the governor's race last year has raised the interest of Democratic national donors. That conveys that it is indeed a two-party state. Uh, people are very interested, and I can tell you there's been a seismic shift uh, in Georgia as people realize that we're no longer one party dominated. Add to that the reported interest in Georgia of a super PAC supporting President Trump, indicating that Georgia is no longer a lock for Republicans. And add to that the U.S. Senate race next year to replace Johnny Isaacson, a race Ossoff says he never considered because he says he wants to unseat Purdue. He has not come down from his private island once for a public town hall to answer his own constituents. He has to go. He's not effective. He runs errands for the president. He does favors for his donors. And we need change. The National Republican Senatorial Committee in a tweet today said of Ossoff's candidacy, welcome to the circus. It describes him as a failed congressional candidate joining an unaccomplished far left field of Democrats. No Democrat has won a statewide race here in Georgia since 2006. At this moment, Purdue is still easily the front runner, Jeff. It is going to be a lot of fun to watch and we will have complete coverage right here at 11 Alive. To learn more about John Ossoff and the other Democratic challengers, download the 11 Alive news app and look in the politics section.